Hey everyone, it's at Rift Collectors here. We are opening up a bunch of different football packs, all retail packs uh, from various years, hunting for top quarterbacks that are in the playoffs or were in the playoffs. Um, so we got years from all the way back to 2013 until um, last year, right? Yeah, not just quarterbacks, but also some yeah. of the star position Running players backs, as well. So wide receivers. Um, we've got a couple of these. The Chronicles Fat Packs, honestly, at whatever they were, like the $7, these were actually a pretty good value last year because even like the Herberts and Hertz and stuff and Burrows of these guys sell. Like I just sold a clear Joe Burrow card the other day, one of like the playoff momentum ones or whatever, for like 10 or 12 bucks. So uh, those have some sneaky value to them. Um, even though I don't really think they sell all that well. No, they don't. Sealed pack, they're they probably don't. about the same price. Yeah. Um, 2020 Dunruss Holiday. Which those have the red and green um, optics. In optics, it. and those are cool. So here's a here's one from last year. And then before I show these ones back here, we have uh, two of the 2016 and 2017 packs. So one has score and one has Dunruss. I'll give you the Dunruss one. Uh, the Dunruss PSA Mahomes. 10 Mahomes is doing like $1,100 right now, which is crazy. Mahomes is super hot, which makes sense. But, yeah. Um, 19 score jumbo pack and a 13 tops pack looking for Kelsey out of there, along with Hopkins, but he's you know out of the playoffs. Right. Um, then we have a, this is 2018 playoff, I believe. Yeah, 18 playoff. A 16 optic retail pack. 16 optic is still kind of sneaky cheap um, for retail stuff, which is kind of surprising. You get five, isn't that the first year they made it? Yeah, well, that's yeah. what I'm saying now that I think about it. Because, like, that 24 pack retail, I mean, it's like 10 bucks a pack, but still, it's not horrible for. Yeah. Some of the stuff in there. Tom Brady, first year hollows and stuff all sell really well. So You don't really see much of it out there, though. No, then we got 17 Elite and 17 Classics. So another chance at Mahomes. Um, and then uh, do we have any? Oh, yeah, we had the 118 pack in there uh, looking for Josh Allen. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to start with 19 score. Uh, one of the only guys left in the playoffs from this year, at least big guy, is um, there's a nice Kyler Murray right on the back. But is Debo Samuel, who has had really a crazy year. Yeah, he's uh, been playing First awesome. team All Pro, Pro Bowl selection, uh, great player. Um, really runs the ball just as much as he catches it. Like yeah. Just is straight handed, uh, you know, just gets carries out of the backfield, which is really unique. Um, but he's just strong, man. The guy's crazy. So. Yeah, he's kind of a unique, uh, unique player. He's like two, kind of like a Kamara almost, but yeah, except he's not anywhere close to Kamara's body because no, he's big. Right, right, no, big and tall. Right, exactly. Was also quick. So a couple of reds, Vinatieri and Tyree Jackson reds, and then a Devin White red. And then we've got a Tariq Cohen throwbacks, um, a Epics Jared Goff. I would not put Epic anywhere near Jared. Now Goff. in the Lions next year Super Bowl contender. Signal callers Russ. All hands team, Adam Thielen. That's cool. Baker, Epics. Also not put Epic anywhere near Baker's <laughs> name. Who knows? He was hurt all year, so yeah, maybe, uh, maybe Jared next Goff, year will be different. Throwbacks. Yeah, we'll see. I bet they give him one more year in Cleveland, and then we'll see. I would think. It was a nice Damian Harris rookie. That's cool. He had a really good year for the Patriots. Um, called the Arms, Landon Collins. You get a ton of inserts in here. Sean Gary. Devin White. Another really good player on the Bucks, linebacker for him. David Blau, he actually Jeez. played for the Lions. Yeah, he did well for a couple games, yep. Uh, Sills, Brian Burns. There he is, Debo. Hey, there he is, That's right there. That's a really good pack, wow. Debo and yeah. Kyler, so cool. Yeah. Not a bad <clears throat> start at all. Obviously, Kyler Murray's stuff is tanked, but um, the yeah. guy still has a lot of upside. It's just, can they get it together and stay healthy next year and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, it's hard. No, I mean, he lost his number one target. Kyler and Cliff Kingsbury, if you look at his records over the time, he does really well in the beginning of the year and then just tanks yeah, at just, the end. So, so we'll see. Hard to know. Um, let's get into this one. 2020 Dunruss. Hoping, or hoping for a Joe Burrow PSA 10. Not a PSA 10, a base card. <laughs> uh, I just got a PSA 10. That's why I was thinking of that. So nothing in that one. Yeah, what was the rookie about. there? The Logan? Whatever. Logan Wilson. Yeah. There was a Patrick Mahomes. Hey, Logan Wilson, though, he's playing for the uh, the Bengals. The Bengals are like the most sought-after team right now in football. They're very hot. 
2020 Chronicles. Bur Burrow stuff and Chase stuff is like crazy right now. Yeah, it's you can't. I had so before the this is just how the playoffs go. But before that playoff game, over the two weeks before, I had bought I think 40 or 45 Burrow rookie cards. It was Herbert. Herbert. Um, and during the course of that playoff game. I sold 39 out of the 40. <laughs> right. Everybody wanted a piece of the Burrow pie. Joshua Kelly. Oh. Darnell Mooney. That's nice. There he is. And two of them. Not one, but two. Joe Burrows. Nice. So this is the stuff. So if you open this, I mean, honestly, so this stuff from, I've sold a ton of this Chronicle stuff. Yeah, Just because right. I get a lot I of know, it. Me too. I've sold a lot of it too. That's a dollar. Yep. That's probably $2. Two to three. That's a dollar. I've sold no, I've sold that burrow that card like that for like four or five bucks. I've seen most of them for like three to four yeah, at the most. It just depends. I'm just trying to be yeah. low here. No, okay? right, right, right. So a dollar, right. two to three, one to two, that's a buck. T. Higgins sells for like a dollar. Yep. Jake Fromm does not sell. Tua is probably like a buck if you can yep. sell it. Jordan Love is a dollar. So that kind of stuff. There is right. actually some There's money to be made bit, opening right. up some of those packs, and that's not counting that you get something you know decent out of there. So we're gonna go ahead and do this one here next. Yeah, you're not gonna in those packs. I mean, yeah, they made a ton of it, and you get tons of those rookies. But some of them are a little bit more sought after than others. And I actually like the set because it's one of those things where if you're a younger collector or um, just don't want to get real big into it, but still want a card of your favorite player or something, um, it's a great way to start just because the stuff's it so is. cheap. Yeah, it's it's fun because you actually get a chance to pull a rookie that. Yeah, yeah, that matters. Matters, right. So 16 Dunruss here looking for Derrick Henry sells really well out of here. 16, that's kind of who you're looking for. Yeah, Cowboys, obviously. big disappointment yeah, this year. I mean, Dak Prescott and um, Zeke. Well, Zeke was the same year, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, Zeke and Dak were the same rookie year. Well, Zeke was the higher draft pick. Dak was picked right. in the fourth round. Right. So he kind of right. came out of nowhere. But um, yeah, He was just going to be a backup. And 17 score. So the Mahomes rookie out of here really does not do very well. Um, no. Actually, it would be one of the cards that I would suggest picking up if you want an affordable Mahomes rookie because you can get them really, really cheap. So uh, there's an O.J. Howard. He was supposed to be really good, had a lot of hype around him, but he never really panned seems out. He to be hurt all the time, doesn't he? Yeah. Jared Davis, solid inside linebacker for the Lions. And a Devin Smith, or Davion Smith. So nothing crazy in there. Uh, we'll do 17 Elite next. In Elite, the rookies are all numbered to like 799, I think. Right, There's not like yeah. base rookies. Yeah. So uh, definitely a tough set. But if you were to hit a Mahomes out of here, it would probably be pretty huge. So. Wasn't this the stuff that was in like every Brothers and Cards um, box ever? Box yeah. ever, yeah. That's pretty cool. Spellbound, Odell. His stuff's pretty high after yeah, the game he, he had yesterday. Yeah, he had a great game. Threw yeah. a 40 yard pass. Kind yeah, of that funny. was awesome. Le'Veon Bell. So nothing crazy out of there. 16 Optic. I think in these 16 Optic packs, yeah, you can get all the. In this 16 stuff, this is why I kind of like it. You can get all of the different numbered cards. In right, here. that was one they used to like not really differentiate too much between retail and hobby. Now it's you know hobby is pretty much exclusive with the parallels. It was a lot harder to pull them, but it was still yeah. possible. So let's see, we have a rated rookie, red and yellow from the mega oh, boxes right. in yep. here. Yep. So it's a mega box pack. Oh, that's right, because these came out of those. Um, what were those things called? Mega boxes. No, 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 the mystery mystery boxes, right? right. Yeah. Derek Henry, Henry would be very nice, but it's going to be tough to get that. Blue. Nope. Nick Vanette on the Seahawks. Red and yellow. Centering on that card is oh, terrible. It's pristine. That's like a yeah. PSA 10 plus. I bet that's an SGC, and even the top to bottom, too. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, <laughs> you don't even really have to, bad. You don't even have to be good at grading. You can just look at that one and go, okay, I don't think I'll be set on that one. Yep. Not that I would send it anyway, because it's Nick Vanette, but I'm going yeah. to these real quick. All right, let's go to what year is this again? This is 19? 18. 18. Yep, 18 playoffs. So looking for so, a Joshy Allen. And Lamar's in this, right? Is yep. it, yeah, he's 18. The Ravens just got toasted by injuries this year. Yeah. Feel they, bad for any Ravens fans. I feel like the last smoked. two years they have. Yeah. Lamar still had a pretty good season, but they just got smoked injury-wise. There he is, not Joe Burrow, Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton took him to a couple, at least one playoff game. Yeah. I don't know. They made the playoffs a lot. They could just never win. Uh, Cole Beasley. I don't know if I'd say a lot. I think they made it like twice in like six years. But Jimmy G. 
Edelman. Luke's one of Luke's favorite players. Deshaun Jackson. He's playing for he played for the Raiders, right? Yeah, but he's on the Eagles now, I think, again. Uh oh, no, Kareem. He no, he, he was on the, the he, yeah, he had right. missed some good catches yep. the other day. This is a cool card. Thunder and Lightning. I mean, obviously Kareem Hunt's not on the team anymore, but Tariq kills uh Tyree kills Dude's a stud. he is fun to watch. He is fun to watch. I was talking about Vita Vea, but oh, Vita, Vita, Vita Vea is an absolute yeah. stud. Yeah, yeah. That guy was all over that that year. All right, 2013, uh, Kelsey. It used to be Le'Veon Bell was the big name in here. Um, Not anymore. And who else is a – who else? Kelsey and Hopkins. They're Hopkins, really, those right. Those really are the two. I mean, there's a couple other no, like, guys, Jeffrey. but really that's it. Um, Brady parallels. <laughs> yeah, Rogers right. Parallels, yeah, exactly. Kind of stuff, but – other than that, nothing too crazy. Um, I have, in terms of Kelsey, I have a N National Treasures RPA off at PSA right now, so I'm really hoping to get that back before they make a playoff exit. That'd be my goal. Uh, and I think it has a pretty good shot at a 10, which would be huge. Getting an NTRPA and a 10 is really tough. So yeah. I'm hoping it does. I'm kind of expecting a 9, but it does have a shot at a 10. So that'll be fun that to see. That would be pretty big. Okay, so this is 17? Yep, so chance at Mahomes. All right, so... Classics. 17. Classics is another rookie card in his Texas Tech uniform. So right. it's another one that's pretty cheap. Yep. Another pretty affordable rookie. Um, if you get a parallel or something, that'd be cool, you know. Yeah, there there he is, Philip Rivers. Jordy. Packers eighty seven, Packer eighty seven. Uh shout out to his Packer channel. Cards Packer card, sorry, eighty seven. There he is, Dick LeBeau. And wow. Bunch of legends here. Ron Yari. All right. Uh, let's do last year's holiday blaster box pack. These were a ton of fun. Um, and you you could pull some really good cards out of here. Uh, like the rookies were selling really well. The this one base rookies were still hot. Yeah, which I'm kind of glad that the market's adjusted to that. Now, yeah. Because they really should not be. But Melvin Gordon. And uh, Bryant, and then Jack Lambert. So nothing special in that one. Also, one thing sure. to know about the 2020 stuff compared to this year's is the uh, rookie versus rated rookie designation, where they still had that, where you had like 50 rookies right. and 50 rated rookies. Right. This year it's just 100 rated rookies. It's all rated, yep. Which isn't horrible, but I do kind of like the rookie. I, mean, I, I, do I don't like mind that, it necessarily. Because it used to be like the top uh, picks were the rated rookies, and then the other guys were the rookies well not necessarily the top picks it was just if you're a position player a quarterback or like a top like a top five defensive guy you're a rated right. rookie in the well it was, i think it was the nfl premier guys that would go to those yeah, nfl premier mostly. shoots they threw in some other yeah. guys too but yeah uh there that's he nice. is john taylor that's a nice one it's a bronze parallel yep so that's not bad he's another guy i mean this guy was incredible this year so yeah all right we got swift he had a decent year but Obviously plays for the Lions, and he, and he did too. Cool, but those guys obviously are not. Um, Cole is not popular. I can tell no, you that. No, he is not. And and Claypool really kind of dropped. Out, yeah. yeah. Love, Love looked horrible when he yeah. played this year. I do not. Jerry Judy actually played pretty well. I have no faith in Jordan Love though. And there's a Tua. And a Dobbins. Dobbins so. was really good too. He's a kind of a sleeper guy. Like if you wanted to pick up a running back as like an investment, yeah, type of thing, uh, well, right. In the off season this year, J.K. Dobbins might be one. To, I mean, running backs are always super risky, but right. But has, you can buy him cheap. Yeah, I mean, you can probably get an optic auto for. I don't know what the, those go for. They got to be cheap, I would imagine. Yeah. So. so yeah, some of those guys. If you're just looking to flip something, you know, the guy has a good game or two, and yeah, you can. You can turn a five dollar card into twenty thirty dollars pretty fast. It's not even twenty thirty anymore. It's like like that Jake Fromm Contenders Optic Auto. I right, got it from, right. Like I got it like a dollar bin somewhere, like a yeah. dollar box for a dollar, and sold it for like a hundred bucks because he was going to start. I mean, he played horrible for the Giants the one game, but <laughs> people thought he was going to be like the Mike White or whatever. So yeah, you know. Now I can't open this pack. So let's see if I can try again. You can do it. There, there we go. go. Super glued it. Luke resealed the whole pack. Just kidding. Come on, guys. Joking around. <laughs> right. 
All right, so Kevin Green. Obviously, there's a lot of weird news going around in the hobby with sketchy things happening. But Backyard uh, breakers. <laughs> like and comment below if you want to see both of us in a crop top for the next video. Yeah, yeah. Would you With our Up North Collectors logo on it. Right. Like and comment. We can make it happen, okay? Now, that was, thing was pretty funny. And, uh, I mean, it's not funny, but at the same time, it Past kind of is just because of the whole situation. Um, the Dallas card show thing with the fake Jordans. Right, right. Uh, that whole situation was interesting. And then the Logan Paul thing, obviously. Right. Too. Yeah, it was a bunch, like, all in, like, what, 10 days' time or less? Like a week. Yeah, like, like a week. Past week. It's right. crazy. So all three of those things happen. Uh, the Paul thing is probably the biggest, like, in terms oh, of, like, yeah. hobby effect. Just because Baseball Card Exchange, if you don't know, does all the pack authentication for PSA 2. And Pokemon, like, graded packs are huge. So that is kind of sketchy. There's a lot of things with it. Yeah, a so. lot of things that, uh, yeah, didn't look good. I don't think. Ooh, ooh rated rookie. Ooh. All right, so we're looking for some. Turn it around the other way. This way? Yep. Looking for some hair. Come on. Let's see the hair. Got a little. Ooh, no. no. If we, oh, Deshaun. Deshaun has a quarterback. <laughs> Just not the right one. Oh, man. So, well, we hit some good cards, though. That was not bad at all. Now we hit some good cards. <laughs> we hit those Burroughs and uh, Herbert. We hit, uh, well, the um, Kyler Murray. And what was the other one? Uh, Debo. Yeah, the Debo. So, yeah, I mean, not nothing, not, no $500 cards or anything, but pretty fun. Um, yeah, we had these lying around, so we did not pay uh Extraordinary prices for these. These were basically bought at the retail stores a year or two ago, and we just had them laying around. So we thought this would be a fun video to do. So if you like this kind of video, definitely hit that thumbs up button. Comment below. We're gonna try to pick up more packs to do other videos like this, kind of a random football pack sort of thing where we hunt for rookies. So uh, we used to do these videos in the past. We just have not been able to get product um, easily. So now it's becoming a little bit more available um, but not as available as it used to be let's say 2019 but right uh, anyways pretty fun so uh tell us also in the comments who do you think is going to win this next round in the playoffs and who is your super bowl uh yeah, winner your super bowl picks down below yep all right oh, by the yeah. way before we before we get off this is gonna be the last thing we say because we've already kept you too long I just wanted to say that the Steelers Chiefs prediction that you made in the last video. Oh did yeah, not end up yeah, so yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Although I was right for the first quarter and a half. They were up seven quarter. to zero. Oh no, no, quarter. it was into the second quarter. Okay. It was second quarter. Go watch. Yeah. Go watch the tape. Well, look how watch it ended up. Someone else predicted that it was gonna be an absolute blowout, and guess what it was? Well, it was you sometimes you have to go against the grain. You have to go against the odds, bet against not if the you odds. Be a winner. And uh anyways. It was more out of just spite all right thanks guys for watching uh, see you soon take care have fun collecting